Five, six days away, man, from uh, the GP, uh, the toughest opponent, man. Just yep. walk into it. It's been a few days now. Have you had a chance to go back on tape and see it? Yeah, I watched the tape, and, uh, man, it was a war. Great. Bench Cop was a great fighter, and uh, I'm glad that I was able to share the ring with him. Yeah, what did that look for your career? Obviously, you know, a tough opponent. Yeah. So, you know, great record as well. Great man to fight against you. You know, what, what do you think that? Um, I think a lot, a lot of the fans and a lot of the boxers who saw uh, my, my Mexican art, you know, they, they see that I can fight and uh, we can throw down if I need to throw down. Uh, but, you know, me and my father, we're going we gotta to watch the fight over and, uh, you know, there's a lot of mistakes I made, so we, we got to fix those things in the gym. I mean, you know, what's, what's next for you? Obviously, the point of the kind of vision is starting to come. You know, it seems like everyone, everybody from 135 minutes is going to move to 40. You know, what are these big fights for that? It don't matter who it is. Um, I want to fight two more times uh, in 2023 and end the, end the year off. Uh, you know, what was that 30 and 0? Yeah, man. Talk about that 30 and 0. That's a big number. Yeah, big number. So we definitely want the top 15 guys. We want those extra champions, world champions. It don't matter who it is. Somebody who knows that is Brandon. You fought obviously Brandon. You were eight or nine. So you know a little bit about him. Obviously, yeah. you know what do you make of his I think I uh, made the best man win. That's one hell of a fight. Um, and it's a great fight for boxing. Are you pulling for any of the guys? I mean, I don't know. Nah, you know, like come Saturday night, I'm just going to be a fan and uh, enjoy boxing. You think he goes the distance or you think, you know, this? I don't think he goes the distance. Yeah. You don't favor either guy? Either guy. 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Lastly, man, as a Mexican, half Korean, half Mexican, man, like, what do you make of Canelo going back to Guadalajara this whole time? Something the manufacturer didn't do, something the Flamengo didn't do. I think that's great because, you know, he, he gives his people a fight in his hometown. So I think that's great for the people and um, much respect to Canelo. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, Canelo is uh, definitely a power, power fighter. And uh, every time he fights, I watch. Yeah, I think you're also a fan of Big Boy. I mean, obviously. Well, of course, yeah. Big Boy's a great, great fighter. Another pound for pound fighter. And, uh, man, he's just, he's so talented, just like Canelo. Lastly, man, you know, we, we see you always cooking out great, great recipes, yeah. man. You have that fan base in Mexico. Yeah. I mean, what do you tell all the fan fans when they, you know, keep up and tap in? Uh, follow my Instagram and Twitter at Brandon underscore Lee. You got I told us all, man. Kind of, shout out to Fino Boxing. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it.